All right, Mitsuru, we gotta have a serious discussion about what went down last time, girl. Oh, Arisato, I need to talk to you. I'm pretty sure you already know what about. Yeah, yeah, I got an idea. I just need to tell you what's on my mind. <laughs> we can talk later if you don't have the time now. For you, I always have the time. My apologies. All right, then. In that case, could we go to the roof? All right. I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. And this is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. <sighs> what am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. It made me happy. <gasps> oh, so it did. When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. Yeah, well, you know, it was uh, it was a pretty emotionally charged moment. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Talk about bold. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but every time I've always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. Here goes. I... This is the second time a female member of the student council is going to be admitting their affection towards me on the roof of this school. And what I have learned from this is I am never going to the roof of this school with Odagiri, no matter what. I love you. Yo, same. <sighs> this year's voice is trembling. I better choose my words carefully. I'm going to die of embarrassment. <laughs> That's so adorable. I'm sorry, but as if. I love you too. You love me too? I, I'm so happy to hear that. Or should I say I'm thankful? My heart. <sighs> At this rate, it's going to end up like last time. It really is wonderful, though, to know that the feeling is mutual. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to open my heart. As of today, you're more than just a friend to me. That said, given my situation, I can't go public about this just yet. I can sense Mitsuru's deep affection for me. Things seem to be getting serious. Right, go! Oh, they changed the stars to hearts! That's so funny! Oh, I actually love that. That's great. That special someone. There's no going back now. Is there literally anyone that was watching this playthrough that didn't know I was gonna romance Mitsuru in this run? Literally, like, anyone? Literally anyone? Say been thinking about this for a while now, but the way you address me. Mitsuru? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. You're on a first name basis with me while I've been sticking to formalities. It's a bit unbalanced. You can call me the fourth Hokage if you want. That's what I always have wanted my romantic partner to call me. I've decided, but from now on, when it's just the two of us, I'll call you by your first name. 
It's going to be a bit awkward for me, but trust that this is what I want. <laughs> it is so adorable that Mitsuru is like, this is such a big hurdle to overcome. I'm going to call you Minato instead of Arisato. <laughs> I love it. In any case, today marks a change. I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. Ugh. Look at all these things you're making me say. You better take responsibility for this. Take responsibility? What the heck? We haven't even held hands yet. Uh. Well, this is a start. Don't let go just yet. Let's go. We spent some time together and then returned to the dorm. All right, chat. Well, we finally got our romance. You're back. Oh, you're back. Exams begin next week. I know it's hard to focus, but don't ignore the present because you're worried about the future. I would just be giving up on life. No point in that. Personally, I'm going to keep on like always. I'll keep going to Tartarus and studying too. I'm not leaving the ring without a win. Yeah, we're going to go to Tartarus after... Oh, we're going to study tonight. Go to Tartarus after exams. Hey! Sucks that we have exams at a time like this. Are you studying for them? Yeah, I am. Huh? Seriously? Wow. I'm impressed that you're able to concentrate with all that's going on. Yeah, I'm a gamer. Nah. Dude, I'm in serious trouble. I haven't studied at all for the exams. You've had a lot going on. What about you? Of course I have. <laughs> what? You're hanging me out to dry? What the heck? We're buddies, right? Pals? Partners in crime? Come on, join me in the road of failure? No. Um, okay. I was thinking about the connection between what Ikutsuki-san Ikutsuki -san and Ryoji-kun both told us, and then everything finally made sense. Ikutsuki-san made us fight the Twelve Shadows in hopes that the Appraiser would return, and by doing so, he managed to fuse Ryoji-kun, who was inside you, with the Twelve Shadows, and that's when Ryoji-kun appeared to us as the Appraiser in a completed form. Yeah, didn't we already know that? It'll be hard to go back to the way things were. No matter what I do, I find myself going in circles. That's rough, buddy. Yo, let's study. Yeah. Alright, Sato, you here for a change of pace? Mitsuru and I are trying to study, but we're not really getting anywhere. Oh, right. Hey, you should join us. We might make some progress, all three of us together, don't you think? Let's do it, brother. Alright. Good. Then it's settled. Get your things and meet us back here. Mitsuru, that section won't be covered on the exam. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm having some difficulty concentrating. Guess that's to be expected with everything going on. I'm not immune to it either. Sorry. I know we're the ones who invited you to study, but... Well, just look at us. What a sing a song? What? I mean, it's not your fault. It's hard to, you know, focus on everything. <laughs> We're making you worry, aren't we? Definitely feels like we're the ones getting the most worked up about it. Well, we can't let ourselves be outdone now, can we? Rain or shine, this is still the last exam we'll ever take as high school students. All the more reason to give it our all. You're right. There's no excuse for slacking. It's time to prove what these last three years have led up to. Ooh, I see the fire in your eyes. At this rate, I may have to relinquish my position as top student. That said, test results are but a single measure. What truly matters is that we continue to improve ourselves. May we both make this a triumphant finale to our time here. Back to normal, I see. Sorry for causing you concern. Rest assured, we're both in the right mindset now. Well, I think we've dallied enough. We'll need to make up for lost time. I can sense a strong motivation for Mitsuru and Akihiko. I feel like I'm focusing better than usual. Rank 7 knowledge, here we come! When you hit rank 7 academics, they give you Sataniel from Persona 5. Whoa. Didn't realize so much time had passed. Guess I was in the zone. I don't
don't think I've been able to focus this well in a long while. I've just finished reviewing the material. You two were serious, huh? Serious? <laughs> Not even close. But I guess that means we've earned a bit of your respect back. We're almost through this. Keep at it, you two. Cool. Guess that's that. Now all we gotta do is ace the exams. Gonna be top of my class yet again. It's almost Sunday. Are we gonna max out Akinaria this week or hang out with Maya? Exams start next Monday, so today I'll be covering some of the more historically significant years. 645 was the Taika reform. 710 was when the Heiji Kyo was established. 794 was when the Heian Kyo was established. Nah, I'm gonna skip ahead a few hundred years now. I will stay awake. 1185 was the Battle of Don no Ura and 1192 when the Kamakura Shogunate was established. Oh, we're real close to the Age of the Samurai now. Didn't we already hit the Age of the Samurai like two months ago or something? And you talked about it for like two months straight? Am I losing my mind? Hey, hey, hey. Da -da -na -na -na. Brother, I never, I never get tired of changing seasons. Mitsuru is always available and she is ready to max out now. We will probably hang out with Nozomi today though because we haven't been hanging out with him at all. We also still need to take Elizabeth to our room, which is gonna be, I probably should have done that before I started dating Mitsuru, but you know, what are you supposed to do? Oh, we have Seth who is Moon. <laughs> we don't even need to get a persona. There are a lot of apathy syndrome freaks just hanging. Oh my goodness, this place is loaded with people. It happened again. I got warned by my boss just for gathering info. I was out looking into Mr. Kreejo and Mr. Kutsi's relationship and the boss called me off. I asked him why and all he gave me was the usual bull about the higher-ups not liking it. But this pattern, it's similar to the Gekikin student incidents. There's something else behind all this, I'm sure of it. Mm, get over it. Hey, Minato-kun, want to grab a bite somewhere? I can hear my stomach crying out with a vengeance. Of course you can. Yes. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. To be honest, I needed to talk to you today. So we need a spot where we can eat good meat and chat, and I know just the place. What I'm about to tell you is top secret. This is for your ears only, okay? This world is gonna end soon. All of humanity is gonna be completely wiped out. Did you also talk to my son? But don't worry, we'll be recreating it as a new land for the survivors. Paradise. Definitely did not talk to my son. Well, did that just blow your mind? Brother, I'm freaking out. <laughs> well, don't wet your pants or anything. What? I'm trying to eat a hamburger here. But it's all right. I forgive you. In paradise, everyone has wings and perfect figures. And they smell like flowers. I don't want to smell like a flower. What if it's a bad flower? What if it's the stinky flower from the Tack and the Power of Juju series? I... I can finally be reborn into a worthwhile body. But if we don't do something, you'll get left behind when the world ends. And I do not want that to happen. So come on, we'll go to paradise together. Don't do it because you're my subject, okay? Do it because we're... friends. I get the feeling Nozomi considers me a good friend for some reason. Probably because I'm the only person who hangs out with him. Nozomi's social link is so weird. It's like, he he's nothing special at all for like his first five links. I don't really think he's like good or bad necessarily, but then like his rank six to eight is all this paradise the world is ending nonsense. And then I'm pretty sure in like rank nine and 10, he's just like, oh yeah, I'm over that now. I, I don't remember exactly, we're gonna see. Okay, so how about this? If we factor in initiation fees, scriptures, and other products, uh, it comes out to 132,000 yen. You can take out a loan, right? I can literally just afford that. I'm rich. Not to mention, you'll get a discount since I'll be referring you to. <laughs> you are one lucky guy. I'm dating the richest woman in Japan. That's insane. 
sane one with that sinful mouth of yours. I just wanted to share eternal happiness with you because I care about your soul. I have to go repent on your behalf. In the name of faith, emergency! <laughs> I decided to go back to the dorm. Nozomi's voice actor is really good. It's just so fitting for the character. Like, he nailed it, his delivery and everything. Aw, oh, hello. All right, Satokun, don't forget it's almost time for exams. I've been having a hard time trying to study, though. When I'm alone, my mind wanders. All right, Satokun, do you think maybe we could study together? Yeah, if you want to study tonight, we can study tonight. That's fine. <sighs> Although I propose living life as normally as possible, I suppose that's easier said than done. Knowing what's going to happen, it's almost too much to bear. It'll be fine. I'll work it out. Is Akihiko up here? I like is Akihiko. Oh, Akihiko has a hangout to do. Why does Akihiko always have hangouts to do when I'm doing study events? I'm sure that Akihiko's hangout will be available some other night. I'm actually gonna... There's no way they would do that. There's no way they'd put two unique scenes on the same night and you have to pick one but lose the other. We had this exact same thing happen the last time Akihiko wanted to hang out at night. It was during a study event. We'll, we'll get the Akihiko event later because that one should pop up again. This one, this should be the only time we can do it. Alright, Sato-kun, good timing. Fuka just suggested that we study for the exams together. Hey. Come on, there's no point studying at a time like this. You're with me, right, dude? Jeez. At a time like this, huh? Like you'd want to study if things were normal. Um. I just thought studying with everyone might help take our minds off things. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think, Ari Sato-kun? Let's study together. Thank you. That's great. I'm so glad we can all study together again, even at a time like this. Okay. Ari Sato-kun, you can sit here. Come on, Junpei, stop zoning out. I think I forgot my eraser back in my room. Uh, Junpei, I'm borrowing yours for a sec. Hold on! Only the flat side, okay? It's brand new. Gotta keep the corners sharp. Huh? What's the big deal? It's just an eraser. Is this something he picked up from Chidori? An eraser's corners are a special privilege reserved for the owner! A precious and fleeting source of euphoria. Didn't you learn that when you were a kid? One man's eraser is another man's treasure. It's not a thing he learned from Chidori about, like, drawing. It's just that Junpei is insane. I don't have time for this. Come on, Fuka. You get what I'm saying here? You're laughing, but this is a serious matter. <laughs> oh, sorry. It just crossed my mind how peaceful things are. It's strange that just being able to study with everyone like this can make me feel so... happy. Yeah, I know what you mean. It makes me wonder if this might be the last time we ever get to do this. Uh, just kidding. Uh, sorry, forget I said that. I was just thinking about next year. We'll do this next year, too. Yeah, I guess that's the way to think about it. If I go in expecting the worst, I'm just gonna shut down. Yukari going into this event like people going into Nintendo Directs. Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. All right, time to get back to studying. Oh, Fuka, can I have some lead for my pencil? Oh, sure. You can take some from this one. Thank yous. Oh, dude, uh, let me borrow your highlighter for a sec. I will not be speaking to you for the next three days minimum after what you just said. What are you, four? We all concentrated on studying. My knowledge is unrivaled. Hey, Yukatan, mind if I borrow your ruler? Did Junpei bring anything to the study session aside from his eraser? I guess, but why have you been borrowing all of our stuff? Don't you have your own? Listen, when I heard you forgot your eraser, something just hit me. The simple act of helping each other out is like, that's what it's all about, you know? That's happiness. This idiot forgot all of his stuff back up in his room, I bet. Junpei kun. You say that, but you probably just forgot to bring all your stuff, didn't you? <laughs> 
Busted. The most obvious punchline in the history of JRPGs. Thank you for studying with me, everyone. I hope we can do this again. I like the study sessions they let you do with the groups in the game. They're really nice, really nice cutscenes. It's Sunday. Exams are tomorrow. 